Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The Miss Maggie Spotlight Terror Raid event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this brand new Spotlight Terror Raid, as well as the best build to go in and farm for level up candies in your game. So to celebrate Halloween, the Miss Magius event is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We'll take a look at the overview of the details of this den. It will be a five star terror raid, so it will be set to level 75. It will have its levitate ability and moves it will have are going to be Shadow Ball, Mystic Fire, Psychic, Icy Wind and additional moves it will have is Astonish and Scary Face. It has standard shiny raid, so it can be shiny if you do come across it. It will always be the ghost terror type as well and it won't have any held items but the big thing about this event is it will give you extremely good drops for level up and rare candy so it's going to be a great event to go in and farm to make sure that you're stocked up especially with the indigo disc on the horizon it's going to be a great event to take advantage of while it is running it will be running in your game from october the 27th until the 31st so it will be ending on the night of halloween which is quite fitting for this event being a ghost type anyway so this is the details for the miss magus event and it is going to be pretty easy but we are going to hop over in the game now and show you how you can access it what the best builds are to farm it over this current period it is running so to access this event in your game as always you're going to have to come down to your poker portal make sure that you are connected to the internet when you do this then come down to your mystery gifts and check poker portal news as always is connected to the internet you'll get this message coming up and then all your raid dens will be updated in your game so then once you've updated you can come to your map and you'll be able to locate the spotlight terror raid events they'll be easy to identify they'll have the white aura around them and they'll all be ghost type terror raids and the build that we're going to recommend for this one is going to be annihilate a lot of you probably already have annihilate built in your game so this one's going to be easy to put together but probably going to be the fastest pokemon to go in and farm this with over the weekend while this event is running annihilate is going to have the ghost terror typing you're probably not going to need it though on this raid you're going to be able to do it in a couple of turns and the held item is going to be weakness policy level 100 just make sure that you have maxed out those ivs so you have hyper trained your annihilate so they're all 31 the ev spread is going to be 252 hp 252 attack you could go specifically on this annihilate build for 252 special defense 252 attack with an adamant nature but 252 hp if you've already got a build like that is going to be fine for this raid it is only a five star terror raid after all the ability is the important thing on this build of course it is going to have the defined ability and the moveset is going to be screech and raised fist that is pretty much all you're going to need against this miss magus because it is going to only be a ghost type so you're only going to need that ghost type coverage against this pokemon and also with the weakness policy if you do get hit by one of those ghost type attacks it will proc that it will give you a plus two attack in your attack stat it will just mean that you're able to run through the raid a lot quicker with this specific pokemon as always with these raid video builds the build will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it after the video but once you've got the annihilate put together we'll jump into the raid and i'll show you exactly how to run this set and how quickly it is to beat the miss magus because it is going to be very simple with this annihilate of course it is only going to take a couple of turns depending if you get your weakness policy procced or not it will speed things up but the first turn you're going to see the astonish come out from the miss magus it's likely not going to hit you it's going to hit one of your partnering pokemon of course and um, so you're able to just turn one go for a screech law that defends by two stages on the miss magus uh, if you do hit, unfortunately, we do miss and it can miss from time to time. This Magius is going to lock in normally with the Icy Wind, so it will reduce your speed stat, but it will also activate that Defiant ability, so giving you a plus two straight away. Um, so not to worry too much. It is a little bit annoying that the Screech does miss, but you can go for it a second turn as well, as you do see a Psychic come out into an Eyelip, and this is going to proc that weakness policy. So... If we see something like the Shadow Ball or the Psychic come out, then it is going to proc that weakness policy. Hopefully, if you can get another uh, Screech off as well, this turn here, we're going to be primed in a position where turn three, we are going to be able to go for that Rage Fist. Also, the nice thing about Rage Fist is every time you take an attack, it is going to boost the base power of Rage Fist by 50 damage. So uh, you are going to be hitting for extremely large damage, especially if that weakness policy is proc'd. 
you've got no danger of getting knocked out from the Miss Maggie's just because of the general bulk that you've got the, in the on the Annihilate. And then that turn three, you're going to be able to go for the Rage Fist because your attack isn't going to go any higher and you'll be able to just knock it out in one hit. You might be able to do this a turn quicker, but if you want to just be very careful, you can go for this three turn setup and then knock out the Miss Magius. But the big thing is after you've knocked it out, you are going to be able to reap all the rewards. And like I said, it's going to be all of those level up candies and rare candies. And you can see the amount that you get from this one raid is going to be probably one of the best events that we've had in game for just farming level up candy. So it's going to be a great event. Of course, remember, if you keep the event in your game by not going online after the 31st, when it does end, you'll be able to keep it in your game. And because it is a spotlight terror event, there is going to be a flurry of different uh, raids around your map. And these are just appearing in Paldea, just to make you aware that they will not be appearing in Kitakami, just in Paldea. So you can locate the next one and then just fly over it and continue this farming process with the Annihilate to just get as many uh, candies as you want throughout this weekend. But that is everything for today's video with the Annihilate build. I don't think you need another reference point for this raid. It is going to be very easy to put together. The Pokemon that you can get access to in the base games as well. So you're going to be able to get one, train one up. And like I say, most of you probably have an Annihilate. If you've done any of the Terror Raid events in the past, Annihilate, one of the best Pokemon to take into raids just to farm with. But this one could be a nice, easy one, a really good one to farm with over this coming weekend and for you to enjoy Halloween with, with a kind of trick or treat kind of theme to it as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please drop a like on the video. It does really help. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.